And so if we're gonna to talk to kids today, we wanna to tell them to not ever forget their inner child and chase their dreams, because it's a whole lot of fun. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Tiff and Tony Show. Hello, everybody. It's good to be back. Tony, how are you doing and where are you at today? I am absolutely wonderful. Thank you for asking. I'm actually here at Big Bear with my family. And I'm going to do a quick loop here because we are playing in the snow. You can see the snow behind us. There's there's um, tubing behind me there. So we're all just about to um, jump on the snow and do some snow tubing, which is a whole lot of fun. I just decided it was time to get out there in nature and do something with the family. So we took a day off. Yes, I love that. Uh, I actually love, this is reminding me about our episode last week where you talked about doing an adventure with your family. And I know this isn't the type of adventure that you uh, described, but hey, it's part of it and it's fun. And it's what yep. we're going to talk about today because you are, the words that we'll say, uh, connecting with your inner child today on that on that I, on, on the tube. So how does that feel? And let's talk about that. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Um, it's amazing in this world how quickly we all grow up, how much responsibility takes hold of us, and we feel that we've just got to be performing all of the time, and we forget that that child that we once were, the child that had dreams, the child that you know, fantasizes about going to the moon, um, all of that sort of stuff. And and I think I think it has a detrimental effect on us as adults. Um, and so if we're gonna talk to kids today, we wanna tell them to not ever forget their inner child and chase their dreams, because it's a whole lot of fun. Yes, I agree. I know in times where I've been able to just let myself be silly and have fun and I don't even realize that I have a giant smile on my face until like midway through whatever it is that I'm doing and I'm like I just feel so light and free um when I'm doing things like that and I think you just hit the nail on the head like it's good for our mental and emotional health to connect with our inner child and part of the reason we're talking about this today is for one you're up doing in the mountains doing something amazing to connect with your inner child and also one of our partners um tagged us on linkedin in a comment because she um posted this amazing video of her basically a little bit about her story of connecting with her inner child and what it looks like and so we love when people think of us for things like this so that's part of the reason we're doing a tip and tony show about it so hello jeanette um thank you for the idea and i just want to dive in a little bit more to why it is good for our mental and emotional health. You touched on it a little bit because as adults, we can be busy. We have so many responsibilities to take care of. There's always something to be stressed about and it can be really easy to get stuck in the monotony of that and forget that being silly, having fun, being a kid is still inside us. And also, I think that it can help us heal. You know, we all have wounds from all different parts of our lives we get our feelings hurt, big things happen, small things happen. We have these wounds. And if we can reconnect to our inner child and remind our younger self that it's going to be okay, that yes, this might be really tough right now, but you're loved and you're cared for, I can go a huge way um, for our healing and help us be more successful adults. This is totally what it's all about, right? Um, the whole adult world that we live in um, creates a stress response. The, the, the responsibility creates a stress response. And a stress response is a good thing, right? It's, it's that flight, flight or fight um, mode that we've got in, inside us. And that works when we're trying to outrun a bear or a lion. But we haven't got any bears or lions anymore. And so the stress response is always on. And so that, that just pumps in these these negative chemicals into our bodies and and it's destroying us from the inside out but when we actually get to play and be a kid again it actually creates that dopamine the release of good endorphins all of that good stuff which actually then does the healing from the inside out 
Um, and it allows us to forget the stress and it allows us to move through life with a bit of a smile on our face. And um, it's important that we don't forget that. And again, thinking about our younger audience, the temptation is to um, jump into um, studies and jump into school and jump into college and take things very, very seriously. And I'm not saying there's anything really wrong with that and the intention is good but we can find ourselves going too deep, getting too stressed uh, and getting too overwhelmed and therefore never really realizing our full potential because um, we've forgotten who we really are on the inside. And that's really important that we remember who we are on the inside. That is our challenge to all of you out there and to us. Tony's already doing it today, so we're going to let him jump off and go get back to his fun being a kid again. Um, so that's our challenge to us. Do something today. It can be 30 seconds. It can be <laughs> dancing in the kitchen to your favorite song. It can be playing with your kid. Think about what would help you connect your inner child, be a kid today for as little as long as you can make happen. And then kind of think about it after, how did it feel? And then maybe that'll encourage you to do more of that. Awesome, great challenge, I love that. Well, thank you, Tony. Go have fun and stay safe, sledding down those snowy hills and we'll see everybody next week. Yep, see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Here you go! Yeah! Yeah! That was fun! Thank you so much for joining Tony and me in this week's episode of the Tiff and Tony Show. We hope you feel encouraged and motivated to keep growing with us. If you like what we do here at Peer Game, one of the best ways you can support us is by liking and sharing this video with your friends on social media. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel using the button directly below this video on YouTube. And you can donate at our website, www.thepeergame.org. And with that, we'll see you right back here next week.